so this is an Instagram moment. I think we're wearing something very similar. We are, yeah. We're very similar. By luck and coincidence. By luck and coincidence, we both follow the rules for tonight. We believe in coincidence. Of course we do. I don't. Yeah. Okay, I do. So that's a little bit of uh, yeah. a little bit of a debate. But the dress code was no rules evening wear. So you you added a little bit of gold. You like that? A little of, of gold. Yeah, I think I wanted. I literally saw this in the cupboard. I'm like, okay, I never wore it. So I was lucky enough to have something for today. So talk to us about this beautiful venue tonight. Is it not spectacular? I'm, I'm a huge, huge fan of the Louvre. We've worked with them on different projects, and I think it adds so much depth to the UAE and so much culture. And just literally walking into, you'll, you'll see when you first enter the Louvre, you see the Quran, the Bible, the Taurat, all next to each other. I think it's a very beautiful touch of tolerance, which we have this year. It's the year of tolerance. So just, I think, just just look at it even architecturally. It's gorgeous. So. Well, it's um, a very special evening. It's the Man of the Year Awards. It's GQ's first birthday. What advice can you give to a very stylish one-year-old? A one-year-old? <laughs> to who exactly? To GQ. It's more. To GQ, I think they, they set the trend also. They're, they've been in, the, uh, in this game for so long. So I think people look up to them as a leader in fashion and in menswear. So there's not much for me to say. I think we just hopefully all of us add more to the richness of this brand. Amazing. I'm going to give you the mic. I'm going to let you say happy birthday to GQ. All right. Just look at straight. Right there. I just want to say a very, very happy birthday to GQ. Have a good night.